this video, I'm going to share a tip in TradeStation on how to import external text file data for backtesting and building strategies. To give you a little bit of context, we are preparing our portfolio money management algorithms. And what we do in this is we export the equity curve for all of our strategies from our money management indicator. And you see at the bottom, this equity curve right here is exported and then plotted in the next chart. You see MM indicator workspace. We have this indicator that updates on a one minute basis. Green is positive, yellow is negative, and it exports our daily, our intraday PL updated on a one minute basis. And we wanted to export this so we could test portfolio level strategies. Now, this equity curve is a combination of 34 different strategies. 17 on the S&P, 17 on the NASDAQ, all sending information to this one indicator right here in this chart. I've exported this data and I've imported it into this chart and you can see the result of the equity curves and what happens if you just buy and sell the equity curve. And so basically we're going to go in here just the raw data trading the portfolio as it is without any extra rules shows what the results are for combination of 34 trading system these are hypothetical trading system results that we track live each day and we've exported this data um, to this text file I'm going to show you how to export this data so you could do something similar I'm going to put this file in a download area you could download it you can import it onto your onto your computer uh, and then you can test these ideas and the way we test this right now this basic test is buying the open and selling the close each day so there are no additional rules such as stop losses and the reason we are the reason we have this is to test those sorts of ideas such as stop losses profit targets trailing stops and so that is the, that is some reference for why we have this equity curve and why we're doing what we're doing. This is not market data. This is the equity curve. Once we have the information, say for example, if we find something that works, then we will add it back to each of the strategies so that we can trade this live. And so the way we set this up, I'm going to create a new workspace and a new a new workspace area, new chart in this workspace. I'm going to double click on the market here and we're going to go with look up. You want to look up third party and I already have mine set up. It creates additional dot files and attribute files so you can uh, you don't have to go through the process we're about to go through each time but I'm going to add a brand new one to show you that how that process actually works. So you're going to go and add and we're going to select a location. So we're going to browse to a location. So I've clicked on browse and I've gone to the folder here, CP data MMEX, and I'm going to select that. And then it's going to ask me for a prefix. This is arbitrary, it could be anything. I'm going to use MMEX, same as the folder. I'm going to select OK. And there is the file that we exported. I'm going to put this file in a download area. Save it on your computer. You can go through the same process to backtest the static equity curve. And you can try different things for portfolio backtesting on our equity curve as an example to see if you can improve a portfolio of trading systems. And so select OK. And there's three years, three years of data that has been exported. So I'm going to go one minute bars. I'm going to go on properties. And it's going to ask me this as well. I've exit, exported the date, time, open, high, low, close, volume. And I'm going to say next. And I've also opened this up in Excel to make sure it's formatted correctly. It's this process that you have to go through if you create the text file on your own that we discussed in the members area. But this file has already been formatted and you don't have to go through that process. You can go through this process. You want to select slash and the date format MMDD and four Y's for month, day, and year. Next. And we're just going to call this MMEX, same as the directory and the prefix. And we're going to use price scale as is. Leave everything else the same. It's not a stock. It's just a 
It's just some data that we're using from our portfolio equity curve. Click next. And we want to make sure you're 930 through 415. So we exported this on Eastern time. The markets that we're trading trade on Central time, but our computer is on Eastern time. And so we're exporting it for the time frame for the data that we are using. And so it says session times are based on exchange times, but our session times that we're using are based on the data times. And we've exported between 930 and 415 PM Eastern Standard Time. And you select next and you select finish and go back to settings i want to make sure that the scaling is or the property or style i want to use line on close because this is a closed one minute close bar basis it is not does not have open high low close values it just has the value at the close of each bar we'd have to use tick charts to go intra bar and so this is what this looks like this is the text file and let's make sure it went back three years, data, edit symbol, and it only shows two days back. Three years back, and there it is. So select OK. Now you have three years of data for this, and you can insert any strategy. The basic strategy that we inserted is this. This just represents buying the open and selling the close of your equity curve. If it's not an FOMC day, if it's not a holiday, you may not have this function, so you might want to skip this step. And so um, if the date is not equal to the date of one, it's the first bar of the day, buy this bar on the close. And if time is equal to 1614, then sell this bar on close. And you can also say set exit on close just in case you have a bar that um, for whatever reason didn't end on 1614, the day it ended on 1613. So um, that is how you would that is a strategy that could be applied to this without stop losses. We go into details on how to add additional rules in our members area, but this is just a basic uh, strategy setup that I'm going to add right now. Capstone MM static strategy. You right click, <clears throat> select a studies, add strategy. Capstone MM static strategy is what I have on my side. You have to create that file on your side. So you can see the results of trading just the portfolio as it is without any additional rules in the portfolio. And here you can look at all the stats. This will give you all the stats if you treat, treat each trading day like one trade without any stop losses, without any profit targets, additional rules could be added if those rules are found to be profitable to improve your portfolio they could then be implemented in live trading by programming those rules into a live portfolio money management algorithm and the real benefit of this is just the the indicators in the setup in this case we're able to insert an indicator into each chart and then that indicator sends us a daily PL at the bottom here that can be watched intraday. You can also look at the market position, the net positions of the longs and the short for the S&P and the NASDAQ. And then that in indicator also can be exported to this static file. And we've, we've discussed how to import this file. And it can be back tested. And then additional uh, live setups can be done. And so I spent years figuring how to do this. I used to end up export the equity curve for each strategy separately try to merge it in Excel and it was pretty hard and this indicator solves that problem for me and my ability to backtest uh, strategy portfolios uh, for the portfolio at the portfolio level strategies at the portfolio level as you can see in this chart I'm going to be posting this text file below this video there's a link below this video you can you can download this text file you can import it. you can look at the equity curve you can import it into TradeStation and this is a hypothetical back test for the combined equity curves of our stock index portfolio 34 and this feature whether you use these strategies in the portfolio or not is a very valuable feature you can import any sort of data into, tra into TradeStation any text file data to back test things along with live data you can add additional live data to the bottom of this so that your portfolio could reference that live or static data and then add those additional features. An example of this would be 
VIX if you wanted to add. If not all of your strategies look at VIX and you decided, you know, I've thought of a rule for VIX that would apply to all of my strategies, you could Im insert the data so that VIX is plotted down here as data two, and you could add that rule in a strategy like this and say, and close of data two is greater than 20 or close of data two is less than 20 or the average close of data two is greater than the average close of the last 20 bars of data two so you could test the vix for all of your strategy you can normalize the exit so that all your strat your your strategy exit at the same time let me go over advanced uh, methods for this and some additional ideas on how to back test your strategy equity curve in the members area as well as live setups for this Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.